Hi everyone, June 15, 2019. I want to show you a few things, but just look at the frequencies that are involved here in this weather that we are seeing. That is so not Mother Nature, so man. Mother Nature doesn't line up so neatly. But look at all of these microwaves in use. Extremely low frequencies, these little beads of severe weather that pop up right here on the coast of Texas into Louisiana. Um, no, we have never seen this before. Never. And what we are also seeing This storm is moving east, and the west side of the storm is circling around, making what I refer to as a land ocane. We see this now frequently in our storms. This is not Mother Nature. This is a jet stream that is being controlled by men. You see the frequencies right here? Let me zoom in a little bit further, a little closer. Right there. And on the top. Okay. Um, The frequencies are not just being used for weather modification, but the frequencies are really taking a toll on all life. This is not Mother Nature. These little, what they now refer to as trains, storm trains, I don't know, thunderstorm trains. Are you kidding? It's frightening to see how many people just listen to what the TV tells them and that's what they believe. All right, earlier, earlier I saw something. The far side of Virginia that it's no longer taking place However, you'd still see this scattering from Doppler radar and the extremely low frequency, this pi cutout right here. You do see it, right? Okay. You'll also see off the coast, Long Island, New Jersey, extremely low frequencies. you see the very defined lines. And those are the extremely low frequencies, like right here. All right, let me bring up what I captured earlier. Well, first, let us look at what I posted on the 13th what was happening in Nevada. I will I will read from Dutch Senses research to tell you what is going on right here. But look at the extremely low frequencies being set off Oklahoma and extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. Look at the, and the length of extremely low, uh, low frequencies is very long. So from Oklahoma, it stretches all the way into Nebraska. This was on the 13th at 1019 AM. 
lot of extremely low frequencies set off from Georgia into upstate South Carolina, where I live, and Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, on into Iowa, Oklahoma, is setting off very powerful, extremely low frequencies, and there's a reason why I'm saying this, so hang on, but all the way into Nebraska. So this was the 13th. I'll show you today. This was at noontime, um, Eastern Standard Time. So look at what is um, emitted in Virginia. With extremely low frequencies being shot out from North Carolina, And I also want you to pay attention to the right angle in this storm. This is in uh, Missouri. Right angle. Very clear. Mother Nature does not work in defined lines. She doesn't carve out right angles. Frequencies can do that. Electromagnetic frequencies. So, um, and you see what I showed you the first part of this video, but you don't see the right angle very clearly now, but you sure do see it at 12 at earlier this afternoon. But here's what's happening in Virginia. Okay. With these extremely low frequencies. And I want to... You see the microwaves set off down here, and this precipitation takes on a square, the shape of a square. No, that's not natural. Here is the right angle, and it's hit with a frequency that is Sorry about the noise. Disturbing our jet stream and bringing this precipitation right around. None of what you are seeing here is natural. This is man causing storms. Okay. I'm going to read this. This is um, back in 2015. Air Force creates storm with powerful microwave pulses from NEXRAD weather radar. And that is what you are seeing. You are seeing a powerful pulse from Doppler radar at the very beginning. That's a powerful pulse. So they can change the frequencies and they can change the power. And when you see this stripping electrons, October 3, 2015, a series of long duration high power microwave pulses were emitted from the Laughlin. Air Force Base NEXRAD weather radar in southwest Texas. A review of the actual NEXRAD radar feeds shows some very interesting activity taking place from this military base weather radar. Below is an animated 
GIF from the National Weather Service radar feed. The powerful microwave energy pulses from the radar station cause electron cascade, stripping of electrons in the atmosphere. This electron cascade process is proved to cause plasma heating in the atmosphere, reaching above multiple hundreds of degrees. Actually, the oh, actually, additionally, the ions which are stripped can produce moisture condensation, cloud condensation nuclei, which is the precursor to rain formation. This is a um, an image of our Navy producing plasma via harp in Alaska. Think of your mini Doppler stations as, or the Doppler radar stations as mini harp stations, because that's what they are. They emit extremely powerful high frequencies into the ionosphere that then bounce back as extremely low frequencies that go right, they can go right through Earth. <coughs> they can cause earthquakes. Extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. Our Gwen Towers, excuse me, excuse me, I I have something in my throat, and anyway, um, these are the Gwen Towers that proliferate now. They're ubiquitous around our country, lining our interstates, all of them, and they're also, well, I have one that's two miles away from where I live. These wires go down to the ground and they can emit extremely low frequencies into the atmosphere. They can control, modify, intensify weather fronts. They can send extremely low frequencies through the ground. Gwen, ground wave emergency network. And guess what? Our ground wave emergency network was decommissioned in the 70s, so you need to ask why then do they have these Gwen Towers if they were for the emergency network and no longer are being used for the emergency network? Why are they being used? What is the purpose? Why do they keep putting up more and more of these all over the country? Because not only do they modify weather, but they're used to pacify populations in regions or country. Yes, they can be used for mind control. The frequencies emitted from these towers can actually lock on to frequencies in people's brains. And then they can subtly change those frequencies in people's brains, in their minds. Yes, they're very dangerous structures. Very. But getting back to um, the plasma, the extremely low frequencies, the seeing the stripping of electrons, and then the extremely low frequencies, you have to wonder, what are they about to do. What was going on in Nevada? Okay. Um, you know, look, these frequencies, the microwaves, think of a microwave oven, okay? You put something in that microwave oven and the microwaves heat it up. Well, we're living in a microwave now. They can use microwaves to heat the atmosphere or heat weather fronts. What happens then? They modify the weather. This electron stripping, the plasma 
which formed from the electron cascade also reflects radar microwave signals like a mirror in the sky. Thus, the large clouds of stripped electrons actually reflect back the same radar signals which create the cascade to begin with. As the electrons are stripped, the electron cloud grew, ultimately reflecting more energy as the intensity of the pulses induced the process further. The precipitation return grew exponentially higher as the pulses continued producing well over 20 inches of detected rainfall. Ah, those flash floods. Notice below how the rainfall amounts flare up each time the pulses occur. See the numbers on the right-hand side? Well, for this radar site, it's not on the right-hand side. It's below. So what you're seeing, this is real time, what you're seeing here Okay, so, oh, I'm sorry, this is a capture, so I can't get down to, I can't on real time. You're seeing a heating up <coughs> of, the, of the atmosphere, and it doesn't, suggest, or you can't say definitively, that rain is happening in that area. That's the difficulty with forecasting weather today. Because you don't, you can see these pulses that take place. But it does not mean that there is a storm there. But it also doesn't mean that there won't be a storm or a flash flood event later on. Um, so notice below how the rainfall amounts flare up each time the pulses occur. And you can learn an awful lot from Dutch Sense's site. Regarding whether, how it's manipulated, modified, how Nexrad radar is modifying our weather, how they are creating these plasma uh, clouds and bringing about an awful lot of flash flooding. So what you see here, this very defined line, is the pulsing of extremely low frequencies. Extremely low frequencies can bring about earthquakes. So, what I am showing you right here, these extremely low frequencies set off in Oklahoma, powerfully, on the 13th, does it surprise me that Oklahoma had a 2.6 earthquake, nine kilometers? When they are shallow, that is the signature of man creating it, man inducing frequencies, not natural frequencies, but frequencies coming from Gwen Towers um, or the Doppler radar, they emitting powerful high frequencies into the ionosphere that bounce back as extremely low frequencies. Why are we seeing 
so many earthquakes in very strange areas where earthquakes are uh, not common. And we've been seeing that more and more throughout the years because of the extremely low frequencies. Or the fracking. fracking. I'm not saying it's not the fracking, um, but I don't hear an awful lot of people talking about the extremely low frequencies that cause earthquakes. A 3.4, 5 kilometers, and this was on the 14th. Right where the extremely low frequencies are emitted in Oklahoma. Now, because we have so many dangerous activities taking place, and fracking is one of them, we don't know. We can't say definitively. But when I see those extremely low frequencies and then earthquakes pop up, well, yeah, this is the 15th today. 2.6, 33 kilometers. 9 kilometers, 2.6 today, Tuttle, Oklahoma. I also want to point out that the, and this woman talks of how the USGS is taking earthquakes off their site. And she is, um, she goes and, oh, she goes, my God. She talks of Northern California earthquakes that have been taken off USGS. So they come up, but USGS takes them off. And there were earthquakes. Um, Gerber, California, north of Chico and um, Oregon. Why are they taking these earthquakes? Why do they take them off their list? Dutch Sense mentions that a lot. How the USGS can't rely on any of the information that we get from government sites now. So, all right, I just wanted to you know, bring your attention to the stripping of electrons. And I've posted videos, I don't know if it was on this channel or Talk to Winston World where they were, um, I found evidence of the stripping the negative ions from our atmosphere, which makes people feel horrible, brings about a lot of physical and mental, emotional problems. Negative ions are really, really important for your overall well-being. I think I have that video on this channel. Yeah, you know, that's the negative ions. That's the reason why people love to go to the ocean or into the mountains because there's a lot of negative ions. They feel good. Well, now They've so stripped the atmosphere of these negative ions that leave us feeling absolutely horrible, um, very tired, a whole host of symptoms. So I will link below to everything, but check out Dutch Sense's site. Um, and you'll find an awful lot of information. Those who only know of Dutch Sense now posting on earthquakes, I learned an awful lot from this man's research years ago. So, fortunately, it is still on his own website. Please don't leave comments. Oh, you say these things, but you don't give any ev evidence for what you're saying and not packing it up. Look, I've been at this for eight years. Please check out my channel. Please check out the playlist. You know, don't just leave comments like that um, because you, you're a fool. 
when you're not even checking out somebody's channel, everything that they've done, and and I do get a lot of comments like that. Um, you just you prove that you're stupid. You prove that you're lazy. You prove something that is not quite right how your brain works. Check out the channels before you say they have no evidence. There is a tremendous amount of evidence on my site. There's a or my channel. There's a tremendous amount of evidence all over that man is creating these storms. That we do not have natural weather anymore. That we have weather produced by man and perhaps even controlled by artificial intelligence. Because I have to tell you, I've never seen, look at all of these. We have severe weather all the time now. In every storm. We just don't, we don't have our rainy day anymore. No, it's severe weather. Large hail and gusts of wind and thunderstorms and with hurricane winds. Everything is severe weather. But look at all of the frequencies in play. So even if somebody didn't know what, what these frequencies can do, it should at least beg questions in their mind. Why do we see all of these frequencies? operating. And on that ringtone, I will say, have a good day.